everyone, and welcome back to Hollow Knight. This is episode four. Last time we navigated more of the green path. We took on the Vengefly King and met Hornet, which is uh, which is her name. It's no longer Silk Song. Her name is actually Hornet. Uh, and we've made it to the Lake of Un. That's where we're currently at. We had a, uh, had a bit of a chat to our lovely friend here, and we're going to take a look around. So we haven't gone down this left hand side path yet. So so we'll, we'll take on a moss knight, won't we? This just feels like such a Dark Souls moment to me. You know, like there's that there's a specific moment around that undead berg area in Dark Souls Remastered where there's this like a boulder knight that is just facing away from you. <laughs> and then he turns around and just wrecks you. <laughs> like that. I wonder if it's possible to like push him off into the into the water. Damn it, I attacked too too quickly. Oh No! I've accidentally entered the building. I have a feeling that resets the whole thing, does it not? That would reset the encounter, wouldn't it? Oh, yes, it does work. You can push him in the water, but you lose all your money. <laughs> there you go. I came back prepared. I came back prepared. I came back prepared. You can push him in. Push him in. Oh, the, the trypophobia in the background there is, is awful. I hate, I hate that. At least the holes look like big enough in scale to my character where it doesn't make me uncomfortable. We've got some flying bug things happening. So it looks like that's the end of that path. We've met Hornet, but we've unlocked the ability. Wait a minute. Hang on a second. Oh, RB is quick cast. So you can cast Vengeful Spirit with RB instead of tapping B. And if it's quick cast, I'm assuming that means you can switch between a couple of other abilities, which is probably like a given, like that's to be expected. Uh, I, I pressed RB to dash just then, so I confused myself. I'm like, why am I doing Vengeful Spirit? Okay, that makes sense. We have unlocked the ability to dash, which has, which will definitely open up a lot in terms of our exploration in previous areas. I also need to head back to the Forgotten Crossroads to unlock the stag. Um, now, if I'm remembering this correctly, it looks like... Hmm. I should probably invest in getting the those markers that I can mark myself because I don't think the fast travel spots are marked I can't really remember where those are I can only see one on the forgotten crossroads map but I think it's in the, the one in green path is a little bit too is down this way in the in sort of like the bottom left area i think we'll see but we have uh we have a dash now which is very cool that i will still need to get used to as well um and i need to learn not to dash unnecessarily he says as he's going to proceed to dash through uh every every single opportunity Definitely going to dash through every single opportunity, because why wouldn't I? <laughs> Damn, chasing this bug. Gotcha. Uh, we also f discovered a bank last time. Uh, so there is a woman that has more of our money. Yes, this is the direction of the stag. I did remember. 
So it is in this bottom left section. So it's by a bench. So I guess the only ways to really like remember is like it's probably by a bench somewhere. So cool. Now we're going to travel just all the way back up to the top to Dirtmouth because we have not. We have not. Unlocked the one in the crossroads. That's very cool. Now we have not even been in this area. Okay. Cool. Ah, oh, because it was a closed door. Nice. I cannot read this board or anything. Where is this? Oh, oh, right next to the, the shop. Oh, okay. Is this place going to become, is this gonna place going to be like become the Firelink Shrine? We find people out in the wild and then they come and chill here? Nah, you there, shadow. why are you skulking about in the shadows? Yes, your eyes do not deceive you. I am Zote the Mighty, a knight of great renown. Tremble before me. While you were hiding here in your dingy little village, I ventured into the dark pit below us and slew a great beast. It had sharp mandibles and atrocious manners. Oh yes, you, you slew that one, did you? Yes, yes, all glory to me, but I don't have time for your adult adulation. I must rest and prepare for my next journey down. He does not even know or remember who I am. That daft old fellow over there keeps talking absolute drivel. Seems to think the very air is deadly down in the caverns. Perhaps he should consider not breathing. <laughs> he keeps talking about dreams too. Ha! Dreams are for those too feeble to truly live. No, uh, what a squalid little hamlet this is. The air is foul and the townsfolk have beady eyes. We'll be heading back down below as soon as possible. No, Banana. 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 All right. Oh no, there's a stagway pin. There's a, there's a stagway pin, baby. You don't need to put your own pin. Oh, we've got new ones now. Okay. Um, the this understated color makes me think of hunting underground for treasure. Token markers. Okay. We're just gonna we're gonna cash in, baby. I I feel like this is all that we are spending our money on. I'm not sure though. Uh, the material I used for this color is quite rare, so it costs a little more. So these are the ones that you can mark your own. You can use this to remind yourself of hard won battles. Mark interesting spots. So there's a scarab shell and a gleaming one. Or well, I'm just going to get the scarab one. Just so I have one to mark my stuff. And then sure, let's get the hot spring one. The hot springs in the catacombs are marked on the map. And I feel like that is probably, it, lo it looks to be sort of like an intentional thing from a design standpoint is in the Forgotten Crossroads, they're like, look, here's a boss fight. Here's hot springs. Here's a stagway. Like they're actually drawn and written on the map, but in everywhere else, it's like, it's it's not. Like there are some, some things that are drawn out here. Like you can see the Lake of Un, um, you can see, uh, the Hunter, the Stone Sanctuary, um, but this one is much more sort of filled out in a, in a sense. And it looks like that it might not be the case down here. Cause for example, there isn't a stagway marked out on the map. Oh, from Sanjo. You're enjoying yourself down in the ruins. At times my husband makes Hallowness sound a wonder, but sometimes it seems a ghastly dangerous place. Off home, Sanjo. Bought some things. Well, now that I've opened up a door here, it makes me wonder if we can open up some... Ooh, hello. Makes me wonder if we can open up some other doors. Serema. Tiso. Pale thing. You wear that nail with ease. If you're in search of combat, you'll find no great warriors in this decaying burrow. I've heard an arena exists somewhere below, one built for our like. Meet me there and we'll test what skills you possess. I'll be heading down soon. Come and find me if you dare. There's an arena, apparently, okay. Caseto. Hello, Nest. What challenges await in its ruin? Caseto. Bueno. <laughs> I love the voices. Be 
dashing everywhere. But yeah, I wonder if we can open up like this door, for example. I don't think there's any... We can't really return because this was a big drop, was it? Yeah, so they're not going... We're not able to go back up. Okay, we can only dash left and right. Can't dash up. Can't do like an air boost. I never thought I'd see such a thing. The stag station has opened. That building lay silent before even my time. Oh, I've heard the tales of the glorious lions, a web of tunnels running all through the kingdom. Not that I'll be traveling them, mind you. I'm quite content where I am. My understanding of Halloweness can be a little vague, but below those leafy caverns, the fungal grove, once home to peaceful creatures, not quite bug, not quite plant. Sounds almost worth a visit. Oh, there's a downside. The dreadful stench and noxious odor fills the place. I remember him saying that. All right, we're heading back down below. So we got, we get new people that arrive there sometimes, so it's worth heading back just to like check it out. Oh, the stag station. Wait a minute. The stag station is not where I thought it was here. Okay. Hang on a minute. I thought the stag station was uh, that, that little thing with the dotted lines over on the side there, and it was by the tram thing. So it's been a while since I've been to the catacombs, so I've forgotten. Which means that I take back what I said, I suppose. <laughs> the, uh, the stag thing was not marked on this map either. This is great because this is a game where I, you know, have information and then I get new information and then I have to correct my previous assumed information. Now... God, this thing is so interesting to me. We had a sequence happen in relation to those three masked figures last episode, I believe. I want to practice that. Like, practice the timing of it, because sometimes I accidentally just go, like, and, and, like, you spam it, but you need to, like, wait for your character to, like, drop a little bit first. Otherwise, you just take damage. I wonder what this arena he's talking about is. Oh, I can dash away from those attacks now. I don't have to walk away from them. That's cool. <gasps> I can dash away from those. Proceeds to just tank the damage. Proceeds to just tank more damage. This was a warm-up fight. It was a warm-up. Leave me be. Ah, <laughs> oh, he's moved. There you go. That was a that was a fight of one too many silly mistakes. I'm I'm warming up. Okay. Warming. Up. Hang on. Ooh. Do you jump higher on the second hit? Hang on. Not really. Looks like I... On the second hit, I was a little higher up. Okay. Let me get my spirit back, please. Come back here. Messing around now. I know your game plan, sir. Oh! Oh, 
you're protecting a uh you're protecting a caterpillar ah i remember encountering this guy and seeing him and going nope <laughs> i said how about no all right another caterpillar has been freed I feel like if we keep coming back here and if we come back here like maybe like later on she would have made some progress on the on this and we can like find something here let me help you out <laughs> oh hello again are you still running about why not join me down here there's plenty of wealth in these rocks for anyone willing to put a bit of work in those crystals out there are worth a fair bit but i have a feeling that something even more valuable hidden just a bit deeper in I can always smell it you're welcome to join me there's enough for both of us or if you don't feel like digging you can just sit and sing with me Bury the knight with her broken nail, bury the lady lovely and pale, bury the priest in his tattered gown, and bury the beggar with his shining crown. Are you su surprised? I remembered the second verse. Lots of time to think while I work down here. Maybe I can even come up with songs of my own. Okay, so she'll also remember more of the song and potentially have some other songs. This is hard work, but I don't mind. Down here I can keep working without even sleeping. It's fun. And every once in a while you can come to visit me. I'm glad. <laughs> I'm glad you like the sound of my voice. If you do this 267 times, you will unlock the secret ending. Oh, you can actually smash the crystals. God damn. Okay. Just smashing all of the um, all of the valuables. Did I ignore this before? Because it looks like I haven't been I haven't been across here. What's this? Oh, I remember now. We did come here, and then I went, oh, <laughs> Expl like crumbling floor. Okay, it looks like we have to actually. Oh, what is that? Should I just attack the floor then? Oh, okay. This whole time, I was like, oh, don't walk on that. It's going to blow up. It's going to, like, you know, cave in. Okay. Maybe we need to go from below. It looks like there was some, like, wooden support beams there. Maybe you have to, like, destroy those. Well, I guess, um, that answers that. We're not to go that way. We need light for this one. There is a, there's a definitely a caterpillar. Ha. Huh. Okay. You goddamn game. Okay. Of course you do. Of course you do. I knew I wasn't crazy. Every time we're going through here, I was like, I hear a caterpillar, but it's not around. Okay. Hmm. Oh, well now I have trust issues again with every wall in the game. That's, that's hilarious though. Okay. Well, we found it. Oh, oh, oh. What do you think you are, a moss knight? Hey, hey! Jeez. Wanna be moss knight over here. Okay, so okay, so this is a tram yeah, it's a tram symbol. So it is this is a different this is a different thing entirely. Oh <laughs> no! It's like I can do this. Yes. 
<laughs> I was like, I have dash now. I can do this. It's funny. Ah, dangerous little things. Get away. Ah. Oh my god, no. <laughs> uh, proceeds to just use the enemies as platforms. Okay, guys. Stop birthing them. I'm getting surrounded. I'm getting surrounded. <laughs> god damn it. Okay, so this is different. So what's this? Can I, I can't interact with this yet. A door with an open, oh yeah, right. It's a door with an open slot. So there is a different, different traversal system. I don't know why I thought this was the stairway thing for some reason. When I was here last time, because I remember this as well, did I just ignore this thing or did I kill it? Oh no, I, I did ignore it. It's a Gru's mother. Oh, oh God. Oh my, okay. Whoa, it's a big one of these. It looks different when it's asleep. Whoa. I didn't think it was a big one of these. Oh God, I messed up my timing. Dear Lord. Oh. Uh. oh fuck. <laughs> the very unfortunate like sort of um thing where you get like stuck in a particular area and then you just keep getting hit by just touching the enemy that's the one that always gets me all right <laughs> i'm fine it happens. That was a surprise, but also not really a surprise at all. So I think that was another thing that we looked at and we went, we'll come back here later. I do like the um, sort of coming back to previous areas with just like a dash and it makes all the difference in terms of how you feel about exploring previous areas. And now that I'm a bit more comfortable with certain elements of the game uh, as well. I feel that that definitely helps also. just miss the input timing for the downward strike. Okay, down to the bottom without landing on these. That would be appropriate. All right, <laughs> should I try again? It's good that we're doing it now because it's so much better with a dash. Because <laughs> of this move! <gasps> That's so rude. Oh, that. Okay, so. Oh, 
Easy. Didn't even panic. God damn. Okay. <laughs> Gru's mother, mature gruzzer that carries its young in its belly. Oh god! It carries its young in its belly! <laughs> oh no! Oh god, dude. I'm like, oh, it's doing stuff in the background. No, it's just fucking exploding. Oh my god. I'm reading. Carries its young in its belly, as we have found out. Attacks by hurling its huge body around. Yeah, it definitely does. Okay, what was it protecting? Oh, getting hit by one of those is embarrassing. This bug looks like he's going, he's infected, right? Oh, oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Oro, you oaf, you wield your nail like a club. Esme, how much deeper do we have to go? Oh, what? Who are you? I see, this old village. What a strange dream to have led me down here. If you hadn't found me, I don't think I would have ever woken. Oh, the sort of like orange infection effect seems to have dissipated. I'm sly. Usually I live an uneventful life up in Dirtmouth. The air in these ruins doesn't agree with me, so I'd best be getting back. Oh, it's the yeah, it's the air. And that's oh, okay, that makes sense. Yeah. Okay. So I clearly for the like our types of characters like Mr. Mr. Hollow Knight and Zote the Mighty we seem to be maybe a different type of creature therefore maybe we're not like maybe we're immune to the to the noxious air but it seems like it's a it's an air there must be an airborne type of virus situation that's turning all the bugs crazy so he's getting back. If you return above, come and see me. I'm probably the friendliest face left there, and I can thank you properly for your good deed. Give all then. You're exploring then. Very brave. Plenty of courageous wanderers have been lost to the hunger of these old caverns. You have your nail though, and I can j tell just by looking at you how to you know how to wield it. Give all then. Mas. Okay. Somewhere that we could only access with a dash anyway, which is fun. Someone's laughing. Oh, hello. Maribo <laughs> Oso. Oh, you surprised me. Hello, hello. Come in, sweetling. Come in and make yourself at home. I'm Salubra. This is my cozy little charm store. Oh, nice. We've got more things that we can buy. Did the town folk out there tell you to come and visit me? Mm, yes, this is a lovely little village, isn't it? Warm and intimate and full of life. Mm, what were we talking about? Oh yes, charms. I can see you've started your own collection. Very nice. I'll show you some of my own and you can take one home with you if you like. Ooh. <laughs> Ooh. And they pricey. 800. Oh, 1400. Ah, oh, they're for char charm notches. Okay. Once you own five charms, I'll sell it to you. Okay, so you can buy notches when you actually need them. Lifeblood heart. Have you ever drunk that bright blue liquid lifeblood? It's a bit of a taboo, but it makes you feel much healthier, doesn't it? This charm seeps lifeblood and will certainly improve your constitution. Oh, cool. So those blue uh, cocoons that we see, uh, it's lifeblood. Long nail. The nail you wield is adorable, but do you sometimes feel it could be a little longer ho 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 come on take this charm home with you suddenly your enemies will be within reach okay 
steady body. I love the simple design on this little fellow, very classy. It's made out of a nice, solid, heavy material too. Wear it and you'll be able to stay firmly in place when swinging your little nail around. Okay. Firmly in place when swinging your little nail around. Are you a spellcaster, you little scoundrel? <laughs> I'm only teasing. If you ever learn any spells, you should buy this charm for yourself. I've heard it will make a spell much stronger, okay? And quick focus. The crystal set in the center is lovely, isn't it? Exquisite, even. I've heard that crystals help you to focus. So if that's something you're interested in, you should take this beauty home. What does it mean by focus, though? You know? And then we've got slots. Let's get long nail. Let's get long now. <laughs> now, I can't... I'll have to equip, unequip one of these. Increases the amount of soul gained when striking an enemy and our compass. I'm going to take off Soul Catcher. Um, we have to do it at a bench. <laughs> just, uh, just constant, constant laughter. And we'll try the long nail. Cool. Well, that was fun. <laughs> Dashes right into an enemy. Not fun. I can do without increased soul for now, I think. So I got grandpa uh, grandpa reflexes today, apparently. We do be rocking those grandpa reflexes today. Nice. Okay. New and exciting discoveries. For some reason I was like, maybe I, I swipe it. All right, let's unlock this stag station. Oh, <laughs> that was unfortunate. Oh, I remember this section too. Uh, without dash, we should be able to check out more of that. Oh, you're here. Yeah, yeah pale thing. You use these old lines? Pathetic. A real warrior carries himself to combat. He has no need for such convenience. Okay, bud. Sad. Leave me be. It's the arena I seek. I've already wasted far too long on these cursed roads. Can we, can we rest together? <laughs> rest together on this bench. Toll machine. Let's go. Nice, so we've unlocked this spot. There's part of me that wants like when you look at a, a map in an area, I want like a percentage explored or percentage completed meter. That's probably too much to ask. And it's probably not the right thing for a game like this. But there's part of me that's just like, how much left have I got to explore of a particular area? But I feel like there will be just value in even returning to this, this area, like even like much later into the game, potentially with new abilities or ways to traverse. Oh, 
Nice. Um, for the Venge Flyer. This fierce little hunter will bravely chase down creatures many times its size. Admirable. It is weak though. And I've devoured hundreds of them with little effort or care. Every time I see like an inconspicuous wall just on the side now, I'm going to be like, I need to, I need to see. that thing. Oh, hang on. Hmm. Something for us to get up there, but I can't... I cannot get up there yet. So we need... I'm wondering if we'll get like a double jump or maybe a sort of like air boost type deal for that. I'm not sure. It seems that it's almost worth checking out these areas as well because like for example we met that we met some new characters and then they just show up as well in in previously explored areas. Oh, I might be able to Yeah, I can make that jump now. Okay, cool. Ooh, risky. So I guess maybe when I see like bits of like the wall that are covered in darkness, uh, some of the environment that might be a, a hollow, a hollow area to check out. Oh, this is the fungus. This is the fungus area, I think. That uh, elder bug was talking about potentially. Okay, so I think what what these are is that this is just telling us that there is a pathway below us that we need to like hit some of those like wooden supports to like get up from there. So it's not gonna crash beneath our feet. The fungal wastes, okay. Cool music. It's a fungal air balloon. <laughs> That's such a great death animation. <laughs> Not the mushroom whoopee cushions, man. That's hilarious. Ow! Oh, you're spiky on top. Of course you are. The mushroom kingdom. Oh, the music is perfect. Ambloom, a simple-minded crawling fungus. Its cap is covered in a layer of hardened spikes. And fully grown fungal balloon spits built up internal gas at aggressors. You didn't do the gas that time. Oh! <laughs> Assuming Hollow Knight can't swim either. That looks like just a different version of toxic water. Cornifer, I need a map. Oh god, hello. This is a resting spot, apparently. Don't try to sneak past me, I can smell you. Leg eater. Hmm, do you collect a lot of geo? 
give me Geo and you can see something nice. Pay to see something nice. For 86 Geo specifically, sure. Show show me what's good. Maybe I should rest first. Fuck it. Show me something good, Legita. Let me show you then. Take a look. Do you want them? If you really, really want them, I'll trade them for more Geo. More Geo. Great. You're a secret shop and you're expensive at that. Fragile heart. This is a precious thing, a beautiful charm. I made it for you. If you hold it, you'll feel a lot healthier. If you're afraid of dying, you need this charm. Very, very special and valuable charm. Do you want to find more Geo? Hold, th hold this charm and go hunting. Then bring any Geo you find back to me. You're weak, aren't you? You should give me Geo. If you do, I'll give you this charm I made. It will make you stronger. Your enemies and everyone else will fear you at last. Fragile strength, fragile heart, fragile greed. Cool. Well, I don't have any money right now. Nice. I can rest on uh, a bug carcass. Can I go past you? Oh, I forget that shops have both a shop and a listen option, depending on what side you're on, because we did that with um, what's her face up on the surface. I, I need to do that for um, for the charm lady. You don't like to be hurt, do you? Or maybe you don't mind. <laughs> Are you nice? If you're nice, you'll give me Geo. <laughs> maybe you aren't so nice. Don't try to trick me. I'm not stupid. Beautiful, aren't they? These gifts I have. They're shiny and dangerous and lovely. I made them. Don't be jealous. Give me Geo and you can have one. Enough talking. You're jabbering. Annoying. Step over here and show me your Geo. <laughs> That's funny. Alright, well, I guess I'll be back. So you, seemingly for it's a like a shop thing, but you can you can um, get different dialogue from enemies, uh, enemies from NPCs. This area is interesting. It's like water that I definitely don't think I can go through. So to get over that other side, I w will I need some sort of ability to be able to? Swim? Will I unlock a swimming ability? Ah! Alright. Are we, are we close to figuring out what the hell this, this icon even... <laughs> this icon even means? Wow! <laughs> what the... Dude, I... <laughs> These enemies are incredible. A shroomal warrior, fungal creature that attacks intruders to protect its young. Oh, the, the, the enemies are just spectacular. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> oh, this it's young. Murdered. Killed. Shroomling, young fungal creature, spends most of its time in the ground but can uproot and flee if it senses danger. How many times will I keep checking the map, knowing that I don't have a map of this area? Every time. The music for each area is just so perfectly composed. Oh! Placement. Unfortunate. You feel every hit that you take. Oh god, what's that? Oh, whoa, okay, that is explosive. Sporg. Detects nearby movement, finds out explosive spores that drift towards their target. Yep, they do be explosive. You don't have to tell me twice. And also you can't hit them away. I was experimenting! Oh my god. That was embarrassing. It's like, I'll just experiment. See if you can bat it away. No, just just avoid it. With all that you are, please, dear God, man, avoid it. <laughs> we 
be back. Where's my, where's my, no, where's my, wait a minute, where's my guy? Hang on, why is it playing this music? Oh God, stop, oh God, no, I'm gonna get killed and I'm not gonna be able to get my, I don't have a map, so I can't see my, um... oh, why are you here? Why are you down here? <laughs> God fucking damn it. Okay, the music was like that because of my spirit being nearby. Oh my god. That was terrifying. Oh no, this is a boss arena. It's huge. Yep, this place is massive. I was like, this is a boss. Ah, oh, okay, you're smaller than I expected. I thought I was going to deal with a giant mushroom. Oh, you're also not an enemy. Oh, that's funny. <laughs> I was about to attack you. Cloth. Aha! The tiny steps of a tiny creature. You got the look of an adventurer. So we've much in common. Yeah, I thought you were a boss fight. I was about to beat your ass. <laughs> Searching for dangerous places, I? Well, you're on the right track. A long-necked critter warned me of a tribe deeper down. Warrior sorts. So she says I'm... Uh, and I'm itching for some serious combat. So I guess this might be the arena. Keep sharp, my adventurous friend. Stay alive and let's meet on the road ahead. Cool. <laughs> it was a boss room fake out for sure. That's funny. Cool. What's going on here? I wonder if I've missed Cornifer. Oh, are these? <laughs> oh, okay. Oh! Okay, cool. God damn it. Come on. <laughs> Let me get the money mushroom. So close. Thank you. <laughs> cool. All right. So this is like, if you haven't figured out being able to like jump that way with your enemy, with your on enemies yet, this is the part of the game where it's like, you're kind of forced to figure that out. <laughs> Oh god, this is actually terrifying. Ah, why did I do that? <laughs> why? Why? Oh! I actually spawned where I'm supposed to be. Oh, just for a shortcut. Alright, hang on. I need to go kill an enemy or something because I'm going to die. Okay, you just stay here. For some reason, I was like, I'm still kind of terrified that an enemy is in here. They just, I'm one hit away from death. Oh no, if I'm one hit away from death, I'm not going back this way. Should have kept that soul charm on after all, shouldn't I? probably gonna die <laughs> I just pressed the wrong button so that's fine so yep 
self-fulfilling prophecy. I'm probably going to die. Um, presses attack instead of jump. them entirely. Get your butt over here. Get your butt over here. Come on. Hey. <gasps> Don't you dare. Whoa! It attacks you. You are you are kidding me. It actually, well, now I know where Vengeful Spirit comes from. I'm like, why are you, I'm like, don't you dare run away from me. That's insane. Okay, so it can also attack you if you take too long. All right, hang on, that took us to a shortcut last time, didn't it? Ooh, bug version. Bug version, he says. Ooh, it's a bug version of the bug. <laughs> ah, okay mushroom version of the bug fungified husk there's two versions of them the remains of a bug consumed by fungus frequently releases clouds of thick deadly gas I like that you, you can... Oh, oh! Hornets here! I like that you can use them as temporary little jumping platforms that you don't have to, like, hit on. Okay. Hornets here. That's interesting. I thought I've just been fucking around this whole time. Apparently I'm on the path. What are you doing here? Here ends the Pilgrim's Way. Helena's heart lay open before you, proceed onward to share in its glory. Here ends the pilgrim's way. Um, okay, well she's just gone somewhere that I can't go. Because I don't have the ability to do a cool thread and needle. And there's just random thorns there. I think we've hit a dead end, which means Hornet's just teasing me with an area that I can't go to yet. Well, that's fun. I'm not worthy. Oh, for some reason I thought I was on the right hand side of the screen. Did not expect to drop from the the top for some reason. Oh man, I am not a fan. Not a fan of explosive spore launcher thing. Nothing like a nothing like an incorrect dash. Fungling. Passive fungal. Oh. Passive fungal balloon. Internal gases cause it to float. Well, I've got to add to my journal somehow, don't I? And while you may be passive, I'm expecting that I'll still take damage if I touch you, so... Not so passive now, are you? Ah, uh, yep. Confirmed. God. 
<laughs> Hello. How many of you are there? I guess I can count the amount of holes in um, Dad Caterpillar's house area. Really just raw dog in this whole area without a map. Cornifer, I feel like, is usually at the start of a spot, right? Or at least generally kind of close. Whoa! Okay, that's where we were before. So at the moment, we are internally mapping this area ourselves. farted on me. And you didn't even care. I hear Cornifer. Cornifer exists. Cornifer is real. He humming his he humming his cartography tune, baby. I'm coming for that map, boy. genuinely just so enjoyable like it's so much fun I'm having a great time and while I'm making like numerous mistakes I feel like that is sort of like to be expected because I'm doing some cool moves and it's fun make him noise ah my short friend you've caught me at a perfect time I'm just about finished charting these noxious caverns very territorial types make their homes within this area it's just avoiding them where possible Further below, some strange thin creatures gave me quite a scare. They seemed an intelligent bunch. They are a council. Renny, I have called it the council of whatever they are. In my youth, I'd have braved their caves, but I feared my matured physique wouldn't be able to outrun them were they to turn violent. Purchase a map? Yes. <laughs> Let's see where I am. <laughs> Okay. So that, I think that area with the spiky thing, spiky statue thing on the far right there is that area where, um, Hornet took off, I think. Okay, so there's a spot above that'll curve us around. So we could, if we went left instead of right, we would have gotten to corner for first, it looks like. <laughs> And now there's a stag, the Queen Station, which we've been to, which takes us back to Fog Canyon, it looks like. So we're seeing the connective tissue of these locations, which is cool. There's a potent odor about these caverns, and far worse for me, I suspect. My trunk is quite sensitive, whereas you don't seem to possess a scent organ of any kind. There you go. So it's like we don't, it's the ones that can actually inhale the gases are going to struggle and can potentially be infected. Is it that you cannot smell at all? <laughs> Chocolate. There's a potent odor. Yes. That's right, I'm immune, baby. I like that you can see on the previous map, uh, you can see the like corner of his little pages, which will show us like where he is without having to hear out uh, hear his humming first. I see. Okay, so you get there from below. So we haven't been up here, but we've been in Queen Station before. So this is just before we had access to Dash, I think. We can hear the echoes of people that came before. We can't get that thing yet. Well, cool. let me take a rest then. Mm-hmm. 
Zupa. This place must have once been quite the hub built at the border between two lands. That misty drop to one side and those bulbous growths to another. Now the place seems particularly welcoming, so while my little treats last, I think I will stay right here. Fair enough, Willow. Fair enough. Awesome. I like that they're even like passive in a sense that when you even hit them, they're like, I would just let you kill me. I kind of hate the noise that they make <laughs> when they when the gas comes out. Look at this dude trying his best to charge at me while I'm up above. Okay, yeah, that one's like a very quick. That's a very quick little cloud there. Oh. I hit it and took damage at the same time. Oh! Okay. <laughs> Almost like dashed into it to take damage. Uh, but actually, I planned a real smooth move. Somehow didn't take damage there. Oh, no. Okay. Okay, so it's gonna be one of these things in here. I need to get better at I need to get better at killing these things. Because I need to get them in my journal. But also God damn it! Oh. Hello nest seal. Nice. I need to get out of here before uh, I, need, <laughs> I need to get out of here and inspect it. Alright, hang on. I think I might be safe here. Alright, I'm safe. Uh, let's have a look. Got a new seal. Oh, hang on. Oh yeah, these are... These are charms. Hang on. So many new item names to, to dedicate to memory. Official seal of the Kingdom of Hallownest, symbolizing the authority of the king and his knights. Relic from Hallownest past. This item now holds little value, except for those dedicated to the kingdom's history. Okay, so this is a new item slot area. Are there four seals to obtain? And we've got the Hallownest seal, so it's little value except so someone that is dedicated to the kingdom's history would like this. I assume, like, you give them the item, potentially. Seems to me what that could be. Um, Quirrell is interested in things. Elderbug is interested in things. Okay. Guess we'll find out. We'll, we'll talk to we'll talk to some people. We'll we'll make some connections. We'll be like, hey, Alanis, see you. You like this? Do you like this? Oh, and another item and a switch over that side. Part of me that wonders if you can use the explosive projectiles from these little mushroom guys uh, to maybe like bring it somewhere and the explosion could help like open a path or something. Some more like environmental navigation potentially. Not sure though. Like I just look at this and I'm like, What if we just bring this and we go, get it, get it in here. Get it, nah, it explodes before it gets there. Ow. 
Ouch. Ouch. Okay. Dangerous. Okay, it seems like this will be something that we'll have to do later, because it's there's more of those weird thorns that we don't know anything about yet. So I guess we're coming back here later. challenging it leads behind a fart cloud when it's moving. So it's... They're just so chaotic that... <laughs> they're a chaotic creature, that one. And now for that, I'm going to murder your family. To this dainty music that plays in the background. This is the perfect family murder music. Yep. <laughs> Kill all mushrooms. Wow. Wow. Will I be able to defeat this thing without taking unnecessary damage? Wow. <laughs> Incorrect. Wow. Nope. Oh my god. Oh my no! I got stuck on the ledge! Will I be able to defeat this thing without taking unnecessary damage? What if I just actually died to it instead? That would be the great plan. Wow. 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 Oh, come on! <laughs> Why can't I defeat one of these without taking a hit? <laughs> God damn it. Wow. So it goes, wow. They're so distracting. Wow. Wow. Yeah, that's right. No hit run successful. God, the music that plays uh, when you get close to your, your spirit. It's so creepy. And interesting, I guess, an, an interesting note, I guess, to make is that if uh, it can use your abilities against you, like, it did... Um, it did the vengeful spirit move against me that I wonder if you get other abilities, will it also mimic that? Oh. Oh, I thought you were going to roll. God damn. Yeah, it's, I guess, interesting to think about for now. What will be the implications of my my spirit? Okay, so that's a shortcut back to this area. That's lovely. And now we are heading back Oh, look at this little big, little big mushroom, he says. Look at this little mushroom. Well, if I walk past it, I'll take damage. Oh, God. Whoa! 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 The headbanging mushroom duo. Oh, God. Yep, let me just charge right in front of it. Oh my god, okay. And then I can't stand in a specific spot for a while. Okay, we got one. <laughs> These enemies are so cool. I love how simple the designs are, but like at the same time, they're just incredible. Like, I love it. Oh, they've got a, they've got a, <laughs> you can't hit them on the top because it's bouncy. Incredible. Just encountering new enemies is so exciting. A shroomal ogre, huge fungal creature, attacks by spitting corrosive venom and slamming its body into foes. 
A charm. Ah, oh, you can find charm notches. You don't have to buy them. Nice. <gasps> okay, I just I need to remember that I don't have to jump dash. I can just floor dash. God damn. Silly me. Okay, we are leaving for now. We are leaving. We are leaving because we can't actually do anything. Uh, we can't proceed yet because we need to follow Hornet down that way, but we can't because we don't have the ability to do so, I don't think. So we're getting out of here. <laughs> I just, I hate how easy it is for any of that to happen. Like, <laughs> it's just so easy to, like, lose your footing and you're done. <laughs> or accidentally dash into an enemy. Oh, man. How fun. Alright. Um... leaving we are out okay that was fun uh so fungal wastes green path to her mouth and there's a pathway down in that middle bottom middle section of the map i think well while we're here what would be a good thing to do is check back in on caterpillar dad and see how he's doing being reunited with some of his family at the very least That's just rude. At that point, that just becomes rude. I like that it heals you. Very nice. Very nice. Now, I have another notch. However, I need two. We're going to check out this bottom path over here to the left because I think because <laughs> I think the dash move will be useful here okay so this is where Cornifer used to be sorry I missed you if you're feeling lost when I'm back to our store Cornifer. like there he leaves a note behind when he moves on it's very wholesome Yeah, I think that there was something in, in here that involved a dash, and then there was also a caterpillar earlier at the, um, in this place that also needs a dash, I think. <laughs> Why did I do that? <laughs> Hesitation is defeat. Oh, no, there was just a caterpillar here. We've already done that. So I think the only thing I needed to dash to was that little uh, geo mound, which we've already done. Awesome. So in that case, we're going to make our way back up. Oh, actually, hold on. This way. Oh, 
because... Oh yeah, that takes us to that weird place. <laughs> that takes us to the weird place where we got the Vengeful Spirit ability. Oh, hang on. Uh, there's somewhere we haven't gone. And it looks like it's right at the bottom here on the map. There's like a pathway. I think it's there. Ah, there we go. Nice, haven't been in here yet. Oh. <laughs> I think the what, what I'm seeing here with spikes and thorns in particular locations where there's parts of the walls that are not so is this gives me that like sort of like the idea that there's going to be some sort of like wall climb wall grab ability at some point because it seems that the environment it's just communicating that like there will be points where you will be able to grab onto maybe hold onto a wall which is which is quite nice so there'll be more traver traversal opportunities with more abilities that we get later on uh, so that's green path we're going to go to caterpillar dad Caterpillar dad, how many caterpillars do you have dad? Oh, there's, oh, they're even in the back as well. Okay, so there's even more than I thought. Oh, uh, wait. Wait. <laughs> 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 oh. We are finding mask pieces. Okay, so we've we're seeing we've we've seen some of them like levitating around, and we've seen like uh, the one has an eye hole, stuff like that. I wonder if we're reforming mask pieces that are the three masks of the black egg, and that is sort of the the end game here. We need to get all the mask pieces, reform them place them on black egg black egg hatches we get taken to the uh <laughs> we get taken to the the kiln of the first flame <laughs> and then we uh and then we go and fight uh gwyn so instead of getting your four boss your, your four giant boss souls instead you're getting your three hollow masks am i onto something don't tell me if I'm onto something. I don't want to know. I'm. I love theorizing, but I. You know what I hate about theorizing? People confirming my theories. Don't confirm them. Okay. I don't want to know because I like to be surprised. I like to theorize so you know where my head's at when I'm thinking about things. But I don't. I don't want me to go. Oh, is it this? And then someone goes yes, because then all my theory crafting stops. So I'm like, oh, now I know ahead of time. If that makes sense. Allow me to theorize and, and and think but do you feel like we could we would reform like these potentially and then we plop them on there i don't know if they're even slots but you slot them on there and then we get teleported to the final boss Especially if it's like all of these scattered mask pieces, so you have to find them all over the world and then solve this bad boy. Feels likely. It feels like it could be a likely scenario. Now, I can't remember what's off to the right hand side here. Maybe I should stop checking the map while there's enemies right in front of me. That'd be a good idea. Uh, I feel like we should go and check in with... We're going to go back to Charms Lady because I got money. 
but as well as me having money, I've also got um, to talk to her because um, you can shop and talk. I just needed to be stood on the other side of her. You'll have to forgive my incessant map checking. Just making sure that we're going the right way, you know? I love these little dudes. Charms ladies this way. Oh, ah. <laughs> Listen. Do you wear a lot of charms at once? It's a lot of fun, isn't it? Mixing and matching them to get the perfect combination. Charm lover salubra. I don't know whether you've noticed, but some charms seem to like each other. Yes. When charms like each other, they shine even brighter and sing even more sweetly. Some charms uh, are better match together cool even more reason to try all sorts of fun and surprising combinations of charms mmm you'll show me whenever you have a new favorite right <laughs> Pedro, it's rare enough that someone enters my store but even rarer to meet one so striking those impressive horns that fierce weapon the air of mystery oh it's enough to make me swoon <laughs> Pedro, misubo <laughs> <Ooh. laughs> Okay. I only need two more charms and I can have a charm notch. Well, should I buy some charms and then I can buy a charm notch and then I can in, uh, equip another one? May as well. So what have we found that we can buy at the moment? Just map stuff and charm stuff. I wonder what else that we can potentially buy. Well, let's buy stuff. I got money in the bank as well. I need to remember that wherever that bank may be. I forgot where it is. Alright, if I buy this one, I can afford the notch as well. Nice. Alright, no new dialogue when you buy charms. So matching so it's good to apparently do combinations to see what can like go together and they shine brightly so then you'll want to like take them off and see if any of these like sh shine and complement each other. I don't know if there's like a visual effect that happens. I don't know if they have to be next to each other either. I don't think we've got any that... I don't think we've got any that are complementary. But let's keep long nail. Let's keep our compass and then... Shamans to draw more soul. I think we should go for lifeblood heart. So it contains a living core that seeps precious lifeblood. When resting, the bearer will gain a coating of lifeblood that protects from a modest amount of damage. Allows one to stay steady and keep attacking. Me looking. Ah, that's cool. It goes, nope, can't have it. Is that not what happens already? Okay, so let me take this off. I guess maybe it's when hitting the enemy, you're like, like, when you hit an enemy, you can sort of like go back. But interesting. Okay, let's do that. So now I've got, I got, I got two. I need that because I am baby and I uh, keep dying. <laughs> 
Now, our journal is just our bestiary. We've got our map. Dirt Mouth, Green Path, Forgotten Crossroads, Fungal Wastes. Oh, no, here we go. Oh. The mask shard is this. Okay, hold on. A shard of an ancient mask worn to protect oneself from harm. Collect three more to strengthen your shell and protect yourself from damage. So, okay, the masks might not be story tied, but they're upgrades or both. I don't know yet, but I am on the right track that we are pick picking up our ancient masks and we need, and it says to collect three more, which I assume is three more pieces to strengthen our shell. Nice. Uh, which one was that? That was just the husk, was it not? The civilized bugs of Hallow Nest were weak in life. Now they equally weak in death. Send them back into the dirt they were born in. Okay. Uh, let's go back up to Dirtmouth because there was that character that we saved. Then he was like, if you are ever around here, let me know. Maybe we can, maybe I should just stag travel there. I'm fine with stag travel costing money to like open up the, the place. I'm just glad that it doesn't cost money to like continuously use it. Otherwise I wouldn't bother, I don't think. Oh, you, you birthed babies right before you died. You cheeky. opened several stag stations now, haven't you? I'm thankful for the opportunity to once more travel through the kingdom. As I visit more places, I feel my memories returning to me, like the stagways of my mind are running once more. Continue to open the stations and you'll have my deepest gratitude. Oh, no, oh, no. Cool. Uh, let's go to Dermoth. And then I think we'll go back to Green Path just to check. Done everything there. new doors that open so this must be that guy that we rescued Ooh. oh what a turn our shop keeps come home just wandered back in i had hoped for grand tales of his time below but he seems to remember almost nothing maybe it was all too much for him if you're interested in his wares watch out he drives a hard bargain that one no competition that's the problem it's bad for the market not that he's complaining okay more things to buy Ooh, i need to uh go back to that bank and get my money I love their voices, dude. Oh, home, Sanjo. Oh, home, Sanjo. The music in, in Dirtmouth is uh, lovely, too. Enter. Ah, hello. I knew we'd meet again. How do you like my cozy little store? I've made myself pretty comfortable here, selling old trinkets to travelers like yourself. If you're planning a trip below, I have several items that may improve your chance of survival. Oh, you just sell mask shards. Okay. This old thing, merely a fragment of something larger. Still, maybe you can make some use of it. Vessel fragment. A piece of a soul vessel. You know, those ghastly looking orb things. I don't really like the aura about it, but it's quite rare, so I have to charge you a high price. Okay, so we can also get vessel... We can also reform other soul vessels. A simple key. Ah, 
to that simple lock all the way over the other side. Simply a simple key. It will fit a variety of locks, which is useful if you like to poke around in places you don't belong. So it's a multi-use key. Gathering Swarm. Do you find yourself leaving a lot of Geo behind as you hurry through the caverns? This charm will make sure that any loose change finds its way back to you. That's awesome. The Money Grabber. And this is great because you could like rest in Dirtmouth, equip your charms, be like, alright, I purely just want to grab money right now and I'm not going to go fight any bosses or big enemies. So you can just like equip certain charms and be like, I'm just going to go on a money gathering run. It's cool. Life in Hallow Nest can be tough, always taking hits and getting knocked around. This charm grants you more time to recover after taking damage. Useful if you need to escape from a tight spot. That's great. Luma Fly Lantern. There's our light. Luma Fly Lantern. So we've, we've encountered two dark areas at the moment. That's 1800. What's more important, a light to guide your way or a friend who will stay by your side? Why not both? Take this bright little fellow as your companion and he'll light your way through the thickest darkness. That's great. Rancid Egg. I found this under the counter. Some creature must have laid it here while I was stuck down in the ruins. I suppose you could buy it. I won't miss its sour odor. Sure. The only thing I can buy, I'm buying your rancid egg because why not? Would you like an egg in this trying time? Sure. Oh, come on, yeah. I see they've opened that mapping shop across the way. I suppose a little competition is healthy. Perhaps I should start to sell maps as well. Is that a little aggressive? Ha, <laughs> all's fair in a world made of geo. Oh, come on, yeah. Pockets feeling empty? If you need some more geo, take a trip into the ruins below and hunt around. Just take care not to fall into a haze. I won't be coming down to rescue you. Oh, come on, yeah. Cool. Um, rancid egg. Fatty rancid egg of an unknown creature emits a powerful stench of decay, generally not considered ed edible. Hmm. Don't know what to do about that. I don't know if having different items will like trigger different dialogue from characters as well. But who knows? See, I think the simple key will open this. Uh, I guess I should go to the bank and get my money back. And then I should also work on get enough money for the for the lanterns but with that one we are going to bring this episode of ha uh, hollow night i almost said because hollow nest ha uh, hollow night <laughs> to a close uh thank you so much for joining me today uh for a fun little retread through uh, some previous areas with new abilities i'm having such a pleasant time uh navigating these areas and having some really fun fights at the same time uh i hope you've enjoyed this episode i certainly have I will see you next time for for more of the same. We're going to get some more Geo. We're going to buy some items, hopefully get that lantern, which is very expensive, um, to help us navigate the darkness. I'll see you then.